so about two o'clock in the morning, he came over to our house and knocked at our window. His father called and said, uh, Marcy's been shot. Every single day of my life, I think of him and every single day. I wish I just had five minutes to say anything to tell him that I love him. I know that he knows that, but the fact that I didn't know he was going to be gone so soon. Losing my son has been the most painful experience I've ever felt, and it's still there. <laughs> I don't think it'll ever go away. You never get over it. You somehow maybe learn how to live with this, but uh, you'll never, ever, ever get over it. I, I, uh, I can tell you there isn't a day that goes by that we don't think about our daughter. And in the early 80s, it started with President Reagan and the crime victims movement began. And then shortly thereafter, maybe in the next decade, a man named Mike Reynolds started a movement to get rid of our most hardened criminals who are repeat offenders and create what we now know is the Three Strikes Law. We asked ourselves, what can we do to change this? And we're not the only people that have suffered this loss. And so we thought, okay, if we could direct the criminal justice effort towards one area that would have the greatest impact, at least you can reduce this so that, that fewer and fewer people have to suffer the grief that you're suffering. That's really our duty as survivors. Oh, it, was, it was just one of the happiest days of my life. It was like having another baby. Because I know she was watching. As someone has said, passion is important to drive the crime victims movement forward. It was such an honor to see the growth from the march from the first year to the second year. To have a thousand people the first year and then nearly 4,000 people the second year was just truly amazing. Attending that Victims' Rights March last year was, it, it's really hard to describe. That many people in one place at one time for one purpose, it's an amazing feeling. So just march for him and for him to know that there's so many people out there that care. You know, the Victims' Rights March is such a crucial thing. It's, it's so important for victims to know that they're not alone. Even though it's been 25 years, there's still a lot left to be done for victims' rights. We've tried to add to that legacy by bringing the community into our efforts. It's not just our effort. It has to be an effort by society. That's what Mike Reynolds understood. That's what Marcella Leach understood. That's what Dr. Nicholas understood. I think victims need to continue to fight for their rights. Because you can't do it by yourself. Somebody has to keep their memory alive. It was worth it in to see justice. All those years were all worth it for me. And just keep fighting, no matter what. Never give up hope, because it's there in the end. What you can do is try to make it better for others. And that's one thing that Marcy would want us to do. As long as you can uh, breathe, as long as you can walk, as long as you have the uh, strength to do it, you have to do it. If we keep remembering what we've gone through, it makes us redouble our efforts. It confirms our determination not to let others suffer as we have.